I'm back after exam hell. You may notice that I am recording from a completely different place to where you usually see me. I'm no longer confined to my corner of brown and grey vloggery. I am in my shiny new bedroom because we were renovating the whole half of the house so I am sitting pretty much where our trampoline used to be. It's like the first Monday in a long time that I've actually had free time to record a video and I haven't been overcome with I should be studying guilt. My last exam, because I am not a physics student, was on Wednesday afternoon of last week and the very night of that, of that last exam I did the thing that I had been unable to do since the beginning of term, since the beginning of May, since the beginning of everything I finally went and saw the Avengers and my god it was amazing. I'm not that big a fan of gigantic fight scenes and action movie stuff like that but just the stuff in between with the character development and just the little things like when the Hulk saved Iron Man oh my goodness. I, I went and saw it with my dad who was um, sitting next to me in the cinema. I just had to put my hand over my mouth just to stop myself going ah, it's so amazing. My good friend Lila or Jane Lila Janet wanted me to answer some questions about dreams. Scariest? I know I've had one, which completely stunned me after like 16 years of not having any nightmares whatsoever, but I actually can't remember what happened. Most beautiful dream would have to have been the time when I was six and I dreamt that this ninja assassin guy saved me from like, I don't know, an evil dark playing villain and then we went into this garden and there was a koi pond and a bridge and butterflies everywhere. and. Yeah, I'm sure I've had other beautiful dreams, but that one was pretty good, like a six-year-old. Strangest dream? I don't think I can choose. I've had strange dreams all my life. They're perfectly normal in some ways, and then there's just these tiny details that don't make any sense. Like, when I asked my friend about a glitch in a computer game that we were both playing, and he explained that I should just put margarine on it, as you do. I don't dream much nowadays. I guess that's a byproduct of high school and stuff being complicated and... Things taking up your brain space. I didn't get a chance to watch Eurovision this year, but I'm going to try and find stuff on YouTube now that I have all this magical free time. And the Strawberry Fair looked awesome, Joe, and I, I just... Of the snippets that I saw, it looked really fun and interesting, and that looked like an awesome horse. The only thing I can report in terms of my life is that I finally have a story idea that I like. It's called Your Big Dumb Love Story, and it's about basically when you fall in love with someone, not letting the people in your life become characters in Your Big Dumb Love Story, to the extent at which you forget that their feelings actually matter. I haven't started writing it yet because I'm still trying to flesh out the characters, but I have like a plot synopsis summary thing that I would love for any of you to um, give me your opinions on if you would like to read my like 10pm inspired stupid ramblings email me or message me on tumblr if you'd like to read it and I will send or submit in your submit box to you. So yeah, as the busyness levels of my life have exponentially decreased, I would be very happy to see you all next Monday. And I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye.